my name is Nia. Hi, my name is Makadira. So, the definition of recombinant DNA of technology is uh, a method in which the DNA molecules may eventually by combining the gene from different organisms. There are five tools used in recombinant DNA technology. The first tool is target DNA. What is it? Target DNA is a sequence of DNA containing gene of interest. Gene cloning and genetic engineering generally rely on the use of enzymes that cut DNA molecules at a limited number of specific locations. These enzymes called restriction enzymes or restriction endonucleases. What is it? Restriction enzyme is enzyme which cuts DNA molecules at a restriction site and produces short restriction fragments. Restriction site is the short base pair sequence so it consists of two or four, sorry, of four to eight base pair recognized by a particular restriction enzyme. Restriction site contains palindromic where the same sequence of bases is formed on both DNA strands but in opposite direction. There are two examples of restriction enzyme. The first one is Eco R1. Eco R1 produced by E. coli. So it recognizes the base sequence of five prime. DAA TTC3 prime. So it will make staggered cuts between, uh, within the sequence. So G A A T T C it will cut from D. And then it will produce a sticky end, single stranded end, like this. So the second um, example of resistant enzyme is small one. It produced by Seratia Marsessens. It recognizes the base sequence of 5 prime C C C D D G 3 prime. The cut is made between the adjacent C and G. Like this one, um, and it will make straight cut and produces plant ends. The third tool is DNA cloning vector. A DNA cloning vector is a plasmid. So, it, uh, DNA molecule which can carry foreign DNA fragment into a cell and replicate in that cell. Its characteristics able to accept foreign DNA in MCS, multiple cloning sites. And the second one, able to replicate freely in the host cell, origin of replication, initiation, or ORI. So third one, possess selectable genetic marker. So it will resistant to antibiotics. Um, so the example of cloning vector is plasmid. Okay, in order to replicate, DNA vector that carry target gene is introduced into the host cell. So this is another mini commit, a cell which receives a recombinant DNA and allows the application of recombinant DNA. So the characteristic is first able to receive recombinant DNA through transformation process. So and second able to maintain the structure of recombinant DNA from one generation to another. And the one able to amplify 
pathogen products from your recombinant DNA. So bacteria is the most commonly used as host reasons because DNA can be easily isolated from or introduced into a bacteria. Bacteria cultures grow quickly, rapidly, replication any foreign genes that carry. Example types of bacteria is E. coli. So the last tools is modified enzyme, which is also known as DNA ligase. DNA ligase, it, the function of it is to join the foreign DNA fragments containing gene of interest and bacteria plasmid. Um, another word is uh, it joins the group of sections. And then by catalyzing the formation of a polyester bond, which is also known as covalent bonds, to form the convenient DNA. Okay, for that polymerase, um, it is used in polymerase chain reaction, which is also known as PCR. And it's another method of applying short segments of DNA. And it also replaces the DNA polymerase because of the temperature condition of the PCR. And also to add new products to the 3' end of primer in order to produce new DNA strength. the plasmid that isolated from the bacteria cell and then uh, this is the restriction site which uh, the restriction enzyme will tap the restriction site at the plasmid this is gene of interest which will join the plasmid by DNA ligase to form a recombinant DNA so I want to explain to you guys about the fifth step of gene cloning. So this is the petri dish. Uh, this is screening process is done using blue white screening technique. This uh, the function of the screening process is to identify bacteria that carries the recombinant DNA. So uh, at this petri dish contains two colors of bacteria which are blue and white colonies so which color should we choose in the end of the process of this screening the answer is white okay so for the step in gene cloning the first step is isolation of gene okay so plasmid from bacteria cell is isolated okay so this is it Okay, and then gene of interest is isolated from DNA of donor cell and then this okay the next step is cleave and cut okay DNA donor from human and plasmic bacteria is cleaved using a compatible uh, restriction enzyme which is DNA ligase it will make the single cut within the Lexi gene site of uh, cleaving it will produce a complementary sticky end or blunt end Okay, so for the third step, insertion. DNA fragment, which is gene of interest, is inserted into the plasmid. Okay, so it inserts into the plasmid and then it joins together by DNA ligase to form recombinant DNA. As you can see, it inserts into it and then it forms recombinant DNA plasmid. The fourth step is transformation and amplification. The recombinant DNA are then inserted into the bacteria through the transformation process. Next, for the amplification, as the bacteria reproduce, the recombinant of DNA will be replicated or be cloned and produce much more the recombinant of DNA, like this. Okay, for the last step is screening. Screening process is done by using blue eye screening technique. Okay, so for the first step is, plate the bacteria in agar that contain antibiotic ampicillin and agar. From that process, there will be two options, which is for the first one, is not resistant to anti right. antibiotic ampicillin, the bacteria will not grow. So for the next option is it will be resistant to the antibiotic ampicillin, so that the bacteria will reproduce and form colonies. Okay, uh, uh, from that process, there will be two options. First one is colonies without the recombinant plasmid will be blue. Why it is blue? Because uh, it contains intact lexi, I can produce uh, beta galactosidase and hydrolase as well. 
and then uh, if the colonies with recombinant plasmid, it will be white. Uh, why it is white? It is because it uh, do not contain intact like Z, and then it uh, cannot produce beta galactosidase. And the last one is it cannot hydrolyze uh, X cal. Bye! Bye. Bye.